that. Let's go. Okay, Jackson. Hey, this is Phil Lilly. Lily's Landing Resort Marina, Lake Taney Como, going to do one cast today. I just got out on the lake, I had to wait for the rain to quit. I think it's the 5th of April, and it's about 6 something, 6.22. Um, looks like they're running the two units plus the floodgates again. I have not been up to the dam, so I'm, it, all the suds in the water tells me they're still Still running floodgates. Haven't really heard anything about fishing today. Been working on some stuff. But I'm gonna try throwing the white jig. 332nd ounce, four pound line. Uh, lookout is just right up there. And kinda wanted to fish that eddy just above me, but we're not gonna get there. The water's pretty slow right here. Come on back out just a little bit. The sun just came out. I was thinking, well, I wouldn't have to mess with the sun today, but it's kind of hazy, but it's not too bad. Okay, here we go. Try not to throw it in a tree. Throw it in the water. Catch fish. Are they gonna hit white? They hit r white real good on this bank. Oh, there's a rock. They go rock. They hit. They hit my white jig really good. I didn't catch anything big after one cast. I fished this this bank last evening. Oh man! I caught quite a few. I'm not going to do anything on one cast. Oh, I had a nice, like a white bass come up and chase that. That was weird. That was about him. Kind of saying the same thing I've said the last couple of days. I don't really don't know why they're running the water so much over the gate. I'm not complaining. I just don't have an explanation. Got a, a lot of whistling going on behind me in Point Royal. I assume that's birds, but there's a fish. It's just, they don't sound like local birds. It's almost like tropical. It's a little weird. That's about the size of fish I've been catching yesterday. Just plain old 12, 13 inch rainbows. Not really fat. The last fish I caught was a decent 15, 16 inch. Bump. So they weren't hitting white like this before the floodgates. Not on this bank. In fact, it was kind of a dead bank for me, anyhow. Just hoping to catch some bigger fish if they're eating shad, but yesterday. Wasn't any. Wasn't anything. Oh, right there on the bank. Right. That's a nice fish. Right. He was sitting back in that uh, 
in that dead water. It's, it's a nice rainbow. Real nice. He's fat too. Really big. Big and fat. Cool. Gotta get the net for this one. I shouldn't have said really big, it's not really big. It's about 18 maybe. Okay, settle down. Settle down, settle down. Maybe 19. Like set up that line right there. Banging around too much. Oh. Okay, stop it, stop it, stop it, stop it. There you go. He's been eating some shad. Okay, okay. That's what you're after right there. The only bad part about catching a big fish is I missed a lot of good water there. So this is kind of the fun part of a shad run is uh, is when they really key in on those white jigs. Sure makes it fun. They, um, they turned the water down again uh, today. Oh, that's him. Just like they did yesterday, they turned it down. Yesterday I saw that they turned it down less than one unit, plus the floodgates. Today I don't know how long or how. Oh, gosh, that thing hard. I don't know how slow it got. I'm holding the boat in the current so I can fist that slower eddy water against the bank. I'm fishing a 332nd ounce jig because I don't want it sinking real fast when I'm throwing in close to the bank it's you know pretty shallow up there and I don't I just want it just kind of floating down I don't want to go right to the bottom if I was trying to fish deeper 10 12 foot of water In current, then I'd use an eighth ounce, probably. This is fun. Trying to miss all these trees that are hanging over these pockets. I put several in the trees yesterday. It started getting dark and I couldn't see very well. Ooh. 
Not as big as the last one, but it's not a 12 incher. Oh, right. Cool. I'll take that any day. A little jump and spit it out. So I can get right back in it. I haven't seen any shad in the water. bottom. There's the proof. Ah! Ah! <laughs> he must have chased it. Try that again. Yep. Maybe it's a small mile. Oh, I got, golly, I got one in the tail again. What is it about white jigs and trout in the tail? It's amazing. Hey, it feels just like a bite. Oh, get out. Not through that in the tree. This is a really nice eddy. See if anything's back there. Not right there. Mm. The nice thing about this evening is uh, there's no wind. And these fish are really tapping it. They're tapping it like a warm water fish. It means they're pretty aggressive. <laughs> that wasn't a tap. That was just a grab. <laughs> Usually that's a small fish. Same place. See if it's it in. Guess not. I think this is where I lost my jig last night. I think there's a tree right below this. Really can't see down in the water because of the foam. Ah, that was a fish. Golly. Big dummy. I've, I used to catch a lot of fish on this bank. Um, For years, I'd catch fish on white jigs year-round, 
and the last few years just really hasn't been hasn't been that good so it's it's nice to go back and come back and start catching fish on it again it's not that they're not here I just and figured them out, I guess. Well, I got him wrapped. He got it in the mouth, but he got the line wrapped around his head. There we go. And him lassoed. Dwayne and Ryan are off today, so I imagine Dwayne, he was going to come fish, he said, today, and as the rain kind of scared him off a little bit. I got him wrapped, too. Okay, buddy, I'm going to have to grab you. You got a run in your gill plate. If only you knew, if you sat stills for a second, I'd flip you off like that. Here's a nice little eddy, little pocket. And there's fish. Some of these fish just twist and turn and they don't run, they don't fight. And some of them make, you know, good long runs, which is a lot of fun. Probably ought to just drop back and fish this deep water for a little bit just to see. There should be fish on the bottom out in this deep channel waiting for shad to go by. But working a bank is so much more fun. Another little pocket. Let's throw it under the tree. Another big eddy. Seems like most of the fish that come out of these eddies that you catch out of the the back end. Not all the time, but well, there is a fish. Oh, here's another nice rainbow. 
cool. Again, he's just twisting and turning. He's not... There you go. Come on, swim. He's not fighting very hard at all. I'm going to drift almost all the way out of this eddy. By the time I get him. He didn't look real healthy. Got a big head and a big mouth and average size body. Another one right up by the back. Little one. Like a horsey man. This eddy is probably absolutely chuck full of fish. And as soon as I say that, I don't catch a, catch a fish. Couple bites. Well, I'm gonna probably quit here in a minute as far as one cast and probably go up to the dam and just just missed another one and see what's going on up there I had a feeling this was going to be really good I would call this pretty good Sure like to sure like to hang a big one though. Oh. Cause right now is the time to get them. Cause you know what they're gonna hit. Okay. I thank you for watching. Hey, my jig turned around. Thanks for watching. Uh, we will see you again tomorrow. We'll probably come back up here and see what the conditions are like and catch some more fish. Like and share. <laughs>